it's vlogmas time cause it's christmas time yeah it's vlogmas time cause it's christmas time so enjoy my daily vlogs because it's christmas time now yeah, uh, yes okay that now all right, we got errands to run. I gotta go to the bank, I gotta go to the grocery store. I want to go to the fabric store, but let's see if that is a thing. I also have to grab a birthday present for Mr. Flynn So let's see if we get it all done, because we're leaving here at 2.15. Let's go. person, human girl that works here that is helping me so much. I would have been lost without her. Okay, I'm looking for sewing scissors. My mom always yelled at us for using her sewing scissors, which means I need sewing scissors. <laughs> you see this wind? You see this? That's bad because there is a fire over there about 20 minutes away from us. It just started and people are already starting to evacuate and the wind is blowing towards us and we live um, where we're backed by a bunch of mountains that catch on fire whenever there's a fire around here. So I'm sure we'll totally be fine. Um, I'm just stressed. It rained like for one day so far this year. Uh, this is the crap part of living in Southern California. It's technically a desert. Like we live on desert <laughs> that is next to the ocean and it's yeah i'm a little stressed about it but i got all my errands done i went to the fabric store i went to the bank i got my groceries and i got flannel presents so let's uh see how the rest of the day goes okay that's all all right this is what i got at the fabric store i got this i got nine yards of this to make pajamas i'm gonna make these, the men's ones, the men's version, not the girls or the little boys, but the men's ones. I did all of the math on the back. The nice young lady at the thing helped me. I got this to make bandanas for the doggos. And then I got, I had to get the sewing scissors. And then I got the, the tape measure that looks like a, you'd get it at Home Depot or Lowe's because I had to. Buttons, elastic. Uh, I was told I needed fabric pencils. And then my mom gave me her old sewing table. It's empty right now, but I'm going to fill it. It's got lots of cobwebs. And then this is this is my sewing kit currently. Hold on. Ta-da! This is pretty much all I have. I know I still need to get needles and stuff, but then in here, Abby bought me this sewing machine a year ago for Christmas and I've yet to use it. It's very basic but good uh, and I want to bust this out. So I'm going to put this on the sewing, you know, I'm going to do that right now. Put this on the sewing table. Eh, oh. Did you want to help me, Blaze? Blaze, did you want to help me? No? No? Okay. Thank you. And hopefully I'm going to take Abby's measurements in the next day or two and hopefully I can get this busted out before Christmas. No help. No help whatsoever. Ever. Never helpful ever. All right. Off to Flanagan's party. You coming? You can't come. You're a dog. I was just shown rocks. Gorgeous. <laughs> Flynn's party was fun. I was gonna say the bomb.com because Cedar yesterday said she still says bomb.com 
and it was, we had to tell her that's not a saying anymore, and she didn't believe us. But she wasn't even, I, I hesitated saying it because she's not even here to roast about it. Does she also still say YOLO? Probably, she says YOLO and word. She says word. Uh, what's the other one, it's like? Her boyfriend Andre is like, she's stuck in the early 2000s and will not progress past that. Bomb diggity? I said bomb diggity as a joke. <laughs> Abby got shot in the heart okay, just though. Um, anyway, Flynn's party was a lot of fun. And now we are back because there's a dog barking outside. Uh, we're back because we're going to the Parade of Lights. We're going to go on Danny's boat in the harbor. And there are people that just deck out their boats and lights and sail past. And we're going to go watch it. So let's go have some fun. La, la, la. And I'm in my fit. In my old fit. I'll bring it back. The unladylike. Watch a pipe. Wait, there it is. We should play it. Nailed it. Close out again, Blaze. Shall we? Ha 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 ha! It's wiggly. Come here. Come see. Come say hi. Come here. Ha, that's your butt. That is just your butthole. No one wants to see your butt. Why are you sniffing so aggressively, my man? Just live a little. It's a new shirt. You don't have to get all up on me. This is one of the basic shirts I got when I went shopping. What he is. All up, up, what is with you, dude? I literally, oh, I was at my mom's for a moment this morning. Do you smell her new puppy? Yeah. Can I close out? Thank you. Well, that's it for today. <laughs> uh, I had a lot of fun at Flynn's party, and then the Parade of Lights was a lot of fun. We all came back here and played some games, and I was in asleep by midnight, which is my dream. On weekends, midnight. Weekdays, 10 p.m. Okay, but that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Uh, you will be coming along for the journey of me making pajamas. I asked Abby what she wanted for Christmas and she said, I want you to make me pajamas because she knows I really want to sew and I just never have time. And she knows if she asked me to do it for her, I will make time to do it. So I'm making us pajamas and she knows it's going to be my first time ever doing anything like that. I love sewing. I love to patch stuff, fix things. I would love to be able to tailor my own clothes. Clothes always fit me a little bit off because I get a lot of men's clothes. And even if I do get women's clothes, I'm so tall and lanky that nothing ever fits the way I want it. I'm very tall. And then there's gonna be people who are like, you're only 5'10", I'm six foot. We're both really tall. Congratulations. <laughs> but pant game has always been a struggle. Sleeves that don't fit me on the length, always a struggle. So if I could master tailoring clothes, I think that would be so dope. But I feel like I wanna make a few on my own first. And annoying thing is, my mom used to make us pajamas because it was cheaper for her. It was cheap to make your own clothes. But now I was talking to her about it. It's like this novelty, expensive hobby people have now. No one's making clothes to save money. They're making clothes because it's a hobby. That all cost me like 200 bucks to make two sets of pajamas? Are you kidding me? I know I bought some scissors, but the fabric, uh, relax. Unless you get on sale fabric, but that's always the ugly stuff or the scratchy stuff or it's just only his two yards left. What am I supposed to do with that? I think I'm gonna start making some dog clothes. I think that could be fun. What if I just quit my job as a YouTuber and just end up becoming a seamstress? I think that'd be a dope move. That stuff's cool. Okay, I love you guys. I'll see you tomorrow with another vlog. You're beautiful.